The weekend is almost here, and if you're still looking for something to do, we have a few ideas for you. Well, as always, WSLS 10's Jenna Zipton gives us a look at what's going on around town. Expect downtown Roanoke to be packed Friday for the Third Eye Blind concert at Elmwood Park. Gates open at 7.30 and the show starts at 9. The Rona Greek Festival starts Friday at Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church. You can get Greek food and entertainment Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The Primled Crooked Road Kickoff Festival starts Friday to celebrate as a new affiliated venue of the Crooked Road, Virginia's Heritage Music Trail. The festival includes bluegrass music and their Chuck Wagon Buffet from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Tickets are $35 per person Friday. The Muddy Ace Race is Saturday along the banks of the New River Water Trail in Giles County. The first heat of the 5K starts at 10 a.m. The race has a main course with over 25 obstacles with differing levels of difficulty so you can choose your limits as you run and a youth mud pit to make it an adventure for either the truest and toughest or the whole family. Saturday, sip and savor Virginia made spirits from more than 20 Virginia distilleries at the second annual Virginia Craft Spirits Showcase from noon to six inside the historic Roanoke City Market Building. Guests will enjoy creative cocktails and mixed drinks and sample unique Virginia made spirits. Saturday is Grandparents Day at the Virginia Museum of Transportation. Grandparents and children under three are free. There will be diesel train rides, door prizes and free ice cream for the first 500 guests. With this week's Round Town, I'm Jenna Zidton, WSLS 10. Well, I know you are on the edge of your seat, and after months of waiting, Crayola unveils <laughs> its newest crayon, the fan-packed name that won't leave you feeling blue. I'm John. In your WSLS 10 Consumer News today, the former Norfolk Southern Building in downtown Roanoke will see a new tenant this month. CEO Bill Kirk at Associated Asphalt says the Roanoke-based business is expanding. In the past four years, they've hired about 12 new employees, and he says they will likely hire more in the near future. So now they're looking forward to being in the downtown area. Well, I think, you know, it was pretty much apparent that the people that work here in our office like being downtown. And, and I think uh, that was kind of our hope that we could continue to stay downtown. But we like the building, we like its location. We like the fact that it's locally owned. Kirk says the company will likely sell its Church Avenue location. 